<clears throat> What's up, you guys? <clears throat> What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? A girl has really been rolling in the fanciness. I'm really trying to be like one of those girly girls. But damn, I want to mention this. They're a little bit longer than the last ones, which is going to be a lot more challenging for me, especially because I'm not used to this. I figured if I started this fanciness, I might as well keep up with it. And for $10, you can be all the fancy you want. You know when you have more nails, you'll definitely have to use your hands a lot more. That's just what I've noticed in like videos, TV. In case you guys see me talk with my hands a little bit more and just, you know, do little fancy things with my hands, that's because I'm glamorous today. I worked with this company probably like once or twice. It wasn't a handful of times. They did have like, you know, some very acceptable hair. It was decent. On a scale of one to 10, I'm probably going to say like a six and a half to a seven. So they did send me another one of their wigs. And this one is the Ombre Water Wave Lace Front. I think that's what it's called. I'll definitely link everything below, but you can get a discount if you use my code April. And from what it appears, it's all in caps. So make sure you put it all in caps. And it's just like the month the word April. Before I even continue rambling on, you know what I mean? I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how your package will come. Let's get it. When you receive your package from Best Hair Buy, you will receive it in either a box or one of their specialized bags. You'll also receive in your package a wig cap, which will protect your hair. Along with that, you'll also receive some eyelashes and a cute little case that they will be presented to you in and some eyelash grippers, which you can use those to place your eyelashes on. You'll also receive a clutch bag. Each bag will differ in each package. This one has a metallic-like look to it, and it's very colorful. You'll also receive one of their hair clips. You'll need to choose either the gold or the silver, and this will showcase their company name, Best Hair Buy. Best Hair Buy does specialize in many different types of units and styles, so make sure to check them out, and I'll also link my coupon code below. The unit is a 12-inch water wave bob, and it is 150% density, and it does come with a elastic band sewn onto the unit. It also has a pre-plucked hairline and baby hairs. The unit does state that it is pre-bleached in the front, but you will need to customize this to your liking. The color of the unit is a Wombri Ombre. The ends look really sharp and healthy. Make sure you check them out for some really great deals. I'll post their information below. Now that you've seen the amenities that come with the unit, let me just point out that they do provide you, I got a little bit high pitch there, what the heck? They do provide you with the two hair clips, which are really blinged out. One is gold and one is silver. So you're not gonna get both of them. You will need to choose which one you want to receive at the time of checkout or choosing your lace front or your freebies. They're really cute. Um, I'm going to attempt to put them on, but I will, I'm just, listen, I'm just be honest. You know, that's just me. Honest April. Okay. They're really, really cute because I like the blinged out. I don't think I would really want to wear these out in public, especially because it says best hair by. This was a really great idea. Just should have thought of something better as a catchphrase versus an advertisement. Cause this, this to me just screams out advertisement. <laughs> The wig, I went ahead and I bleached the knots in the unit because, you know, as I showed you guys, they were kind of black. And then I used some purple shampoo. I was really definitely going to use some Wella Toner in T18 because to me, it looked very, very orange, brassy. But when I stated this to the company, they insisted that I leave it as is because a lot of customers love this color. 
So to each his own. I mean, like if you like the brassy tones, then that's on you. Me, I prefer a little bit more subtle toned down. So the purple shampoo did take in some areas, but not the whole darn thing. So well, a toner is definitely needed if you want to take out the brassy tones. You know, I did pluck the unit and then I rewashed it again. And this is how it dried, you know. So I'm hoping that the curls will pop a little bit more once I add some of this spray water, which contains some of Carol's Daughter Leave-In Milk. I did put an elastic band. Did I sew this in here? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm about to take the credit for something that I didn't even do. So like me. There is an elastic band in the unit, and, you know, it comes with the natural standard adjustable strap and the combs and the nape. This is definitely a 13 by 4 as you guys can definitely tell from the way that the lace is just made. So we're just going to go ahead and put this wig on. We're going to see what it do. Listen, I'm about to listen to some old school music, so some Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. Girl, that is my jam. Okay, you guys, so let's just put this lace wig on. It did say on the website that it's a 13 by 6, but to me, it really more or less looks like a 13 by 4, but I could be wrong. A girl does, you know, sometimes be wrong. So I'm just going to put my clips in it like I normally do and cut the lace off with my small scissors. This time around, I decided not to use the brow trimmers for cutting the lace, only because sometimes it can be a little challenging and life is challenging enough so why bother making it even more challenging when you can just make it easier. I try to cut dips and curves into the lace when I'm cutting it just so that it's not a blunt cut. And then I'm going to take my baby wipes and wipe away some of the makeup that I sat so longly to do and wipe it off. Now it's time to make the wig fit properly. The ear tabs was a little bit overflowing onto my own natural ears so I did part it right above my ears and cut off that excess lace. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make some sideburn hairs and some baby hairs in this unit. Depending on the lace that you get, this step is optional. You can do it if you like or not, but I really do prefer sideburn hairs and I really didn't want to tack down the whole entire wig, so I'm just going to tack down the portion where my sideburns would be. So that way the wig does sit tight. But if you don't want to do this option, just make sure your adjustable straps are tight enough along with that, the elastic band. And then you can go ahead and take your blow dryer out and blow dry your product. Now as you guys see, I've got a new blow dryer. It ain't really that new. It's actually been in my collection for a while, but my other one kind of like started smoking on camera, so I was forced to use the pink one. Not my favorite blow dryer since the nozzle is so long, but it gets the job done and the speed controls are amazing just as my old blow dryer was. So I'm just going to use this for the time being. And now get your scissors out and go ahead and cut your baby hairs and your sideburns. But if you like them extra long, girl, then do you, boo. Do you. I'm going to be using the Lotta Body Wrapping Foaming Mousse only because, girl, listen, I got enough of these bottles in my hair collection and I decided to try out something different this time. This stuff really does work amazing. It doesn't give you like a tacky, sticky feel, but it does lay the hairs down. And the bad thing about this entire video is looking at my green toothbrush and realizing that I don't know where it's at now. Yes, I've lost it. And this brush has traveled with me from NYC. So God knows where it's at now, but I sure wish I could find it. So I'm having a moment here with these baby hairs. A real moment. sometimes it'll make you cry so I decided just to put my wrapping scarf on and spritz my hair down with some water and some Carol's milk or Carol's daughter's leave-in milk conditioner and go ahead and sing I want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston seems to always cheer me up and now that I've saturated the hair I'm just gonna take my fake 
denim brush and brush through it. Girl, for a fake, for $1.50, this brush works amazing. And the hair does curl up, but I'm really not a huge fan of wet hair, so I'm going to attempt to blow dry some of it so that I can give it a little bit more value. And now it's time to remove the scarf. I wasn't too pleased with the outcome, as you guys can see, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix one side. Now this is where it gets pretty darn, kinda like a little bit horrifying for me. I got me a brand new brow trimmer, and on top of that, I went ahead and bludgeon myself once again with the brand new brow trimmer. You see what I go through just for a wig tutorial? So now that I'm wrapped up in a bandage and I've got several stitches. No, I really don't have stitches, but I am wrapped up pretty good in this bandage. I'm just gonna continue to style. And this is the last part of the video where I attempt to look cute. I said attempt. Having nails is so challenging. I could not get this darn clip open and I felt like I had a walking billboard on the side of my head. Not cute. I just think I'm a little bit too mature for this. Time for a coffee break. And now that I'm done, I'm just gonna pose and smile. All right, you guys, so this is it for this wig. First of all, let me just say this, okay? Let me, let me just pull up. You know, I listen, I was about to do like two, three videos today, but after this one video, a girl don't feel like doing nothing else. I feel like I have just been really taken there. I got a really bad wound again. This is the second time that I damn near bludgeoned myself on camera doing a wig tutorial, okay? And I'm just not liking how my makeup is looking anymore. I'm seriously like kind of like over the whole, uh, let's do a video today. This whole day, not even this whole day, but just this entire video. Like I said, I'm not really like a huge fan of this color tone, but for those who like it, you know, I just left it as is, as the company requested. And because I did see pictures of people modeling this same wig and they did actually like the color. I, for one, feel like a carrot head right now, okay? Two, these nails drove me crazy and made my life so much uneasier. I felt like ripping them off during the entire video. Then on top of that, as I removed the cap from my brow trimmer, which was brand spanking new, I decided to just gouge and gouge into my flesh, which left me bleeding, bleeding out all over the place. The next thing that I tried to attempt to do was to apply the hair clip. The hardest part of applying this was the fact that one of my rhinestones got caught in between the clip. And then the second hardest thing was trying to get it to be positioned where it wouldn't look so stupid and pathetic on me. And me more or less trying to look like I was trying too hard just to be bad and bougie when it just really says best hair buy on the side. And my crystals are not even so varsity. On that note, as for the hair luster, it is more or less on the dull side. It's not very shiny. It's not very glossy. It is a very low luster. I can't remember the inches of that, of this, but I'll definitely post it in the information box for you guys. I think I should have tweet, uh, plucked a little bit more on the front part, because to me, it's a little bit thick right here. But you can check Best Hair Buy Out. I'll list the information below for this lace front 13 by four, okay? ombre let's say it like ombre like that um you know my opinions on it on a scale of one to ten would i rate it well if i had to wear it every day i would probably rate it like a six on that note to each his own opinion but you know you guys you can definitely follow me on all social media i'm there i'm lying i'm not but you can definitely subscribe and thumbs the video up and make sure you put on your notifications so that way when I post the video, you'll be notified. This is my opinion. 
I like my roots to be like very minimal, but being that's the ombre, you definitely are going to have to have more of the root color come out. I just like it to gradually go into the next color. I could be like one of those wild looking girls, like Instagram baddie smiles. <laughs> Well, let me not do that, but you know what I'm saying, you guys, you can definitely volume it up and you can also style it in different curling options. So you definitely don't have to wear it like this. I just fluff it up, put a little hairspray, honey, smile for the gram. That's about it. So I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Let me know your take on this week from Best Hair Buy. What did you think about the amenities that came in the package? And what do you think about me and the wig? Yeah. And the nails. Yes, you guys, you guys, you guys definitely have to let me know what you think about the nails. <laughs> and the battle wound. I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Let the little body do.